Well, now where am I going to get my crawfish etouffee? Hello and welcome to another episode of Civil War in Hindsight. I'm Lieutenant Tommy. With me, as always, is Prospector Johnny. And this week, Prospector, it's more of the same old stuff that's been going on for the last month. So just more, more of the South is, is departing. So how, how many uh, states do we have left in the United States? Are we even uh, calling ourselves that anymore? What's what is this? Yeah, well, well, we've got five states that have seceded. Uh, so that brings us down to 27, I believe. But, uh, well, bear with me because some stuff happens. So there's some changes in motion. So, so he, he, you know, on the on the beginning of the week, on January 25th, uh, Kentucky's legislature is going to urge a national convention similar to what Virginia is trying to do, which at this point, why? Yeah. I mean, right. Just no how many, way. you know, how many attempted resolutions have we tried to come up with? You know, five states have already seceded. It's not likely right. that they're going to come right back in now. It, yeah, it, and, and all it of their compromises to, that they've been throwing out there have not, not been, been compromises. compromises. <laughs> and so nobody's going to budge on any of that stuff. So it's just a stalemate. So they're just they're just dragging their feet. No, you have the anti-state North or anti-slave North that's wanting uh, wanting slavery to not get spread any further. And then you've yeah. got the pro-slave South. It's like let's keep spreading it. So yeah. We like it. There's not much of a compromise. <laughs> yeah, we like it. There's not much of a compromise there. On January 26th, Louisiana will become the sixth state to secede from the Union. They just uh, they just keep falling. So so now yes, uh, now yeah we just keep we keep losing states. Uh, now some other states had uh, meetings to to plan for votes or something, right? Those are coming up. Whether Louisiana, not, yeah, those are com- well, yeah, upcoming yeah, still. Yeah, they haven't happened. Louisiana, yeah, Louisiana was the only one that happened this week. Um, mm-hmm. And the state business in Louisiana has come to an almost standstill leading up to this point. Nolan's port has been pretty much empty because the mass, the vast majority of their, their commercial traffic has been with the north, and that has slowed down a lot with fear over a potential war because yeah. Louisiana State over the last few weeks has been taking territory you know, from, yeah. from federal property. Yeah. So, Which is uh, basically it, war. Which is basically war, so it's it's natural to assume that if you're uh, if you're a businessman in New Orleans, that maybe uh, maybe you don't want to keep shipping your stuff up north for fear that it might not uh, it might not make it, you know. Yeah. So so yeah. their businesses have really slowed down. Um, their ordinance secession was signed with gold pens, Johnny, gold pens, oh. and they were uh, they did not have a uh, they did not have a declaration of immediate causes. And their uh, and their ordinance secession is essentially just a two page breakup letter uh, that says, yeah, the Constitution, we're not we're not going to go ahead and follow that anymore. We're just, we don't eh, we don't want that one anymore. Their state convention, though, was at least held in their capital, unlike some of the other previous uh, seceding states. So it was held in Baton Rouge, and it would be a vote of 113 in favor of secession to only 17 not in favor, which, again, it seems like a very big majority in favor of secession. That yeah. number against would have been a lot higher had this vote taken place a few months back because the business side of, uh, of Louisiana isn't so pro secession at this point because again a lot of their com- commerce is with the north so you get so rid do you of think this, and, hmm. this comes down to another one of those situations where they're just they're being sort of bullied into it or at least pushed over the edge of the the line I, I, into I mean, it when, from all know, the other states around them seceding and everything just the way things are looking right now is it, it, and bad. not to yeah and not to overshadow the pro secession movement that was there because it was very large it's of just it, it kept gaining more and more momentum as the other states started to secede uh texas is now in talks about having their own vote as well so it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that far before texas joins them yeah, also I mean, it sounds on, like everybody calling for a vote is just gone and there's just, yeah, there's just the vote is really just okay we have to make this official right let's do it Pretty much. Also on the 26th, the uh, the Oglethorpe Barracks in Fort Jackson uh, are appropriated by Georgia state troops. So Georgia has seceded, and now they're t- starting to take more federal territory that they, that they already have taken. So, Quick reminder, we're still not at war. Yeah, quick, quick reminder, we're still still not at war. On January 28th, Louisiana would appropriate the federal Fort Meckham uh, near New Orleans. So still not at war. 
States just are still taking, taking federal property. Federal property. That's just okay yeah, with the with the United States government, apparently. Uh, yeah, I guess. On the uh, 29th, finally some good news for the North, because over these last few uh, few months, a lot of states have started to leave. We're down six states now with, yeah. with Louisiana leaving. Uh, but we're going to gain one, Johnny. We're going to gain what? Kansas. Kansas is going to be admitted to the great United States as the 34th state, or, or well... I mean, if you count the six that we lost, actually just the 28th state. So it's but, a confusing so, time. So, yeah. it, well, it was the 34th state, and now it makes up the 28th state when you count all of them. That hasn't, order. yeah, that hasn't quite succeeded yeah, the, yet. the ones that are left in the United States of America. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, although um, it is also important to note that Kansas is a, uh, it is a, uh, uh, anti-slave state, so slavery is mm. illegal in the state of Kansas. So all of that work that uh, that uh, John Brown did with the Bleeding Kansas movement uh, seemed to be successful. Slavery was uh, was stopped, at least in the spread of Kansas. So way to go, John Brown! What a fortuitous time for the United States to get another anti-slave state. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of helps them. It also means that I guess this flag is going to be outdated pretty soon because it only has 35 oh. stars so they gotta put another one well they have yeah, to I put guess. one on and then take six off <laughs> you're right i wonder are we gonna start, start taking stars off the flag or are we just gonna keep them because uh, yeah. they're like well they were ours at how one you point, choose so we're gonna I, uh, yeah which 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 we need a committee <laughs> we, yeah with some, johnny i'm gonna let you head that committee for <laughs> which stars are gonna be pulled off the, the flag star removal committee yeah come up with a new design than than, than what we currently have here um also, on the 29th, the U.S. Revenue Cutter, uh, which uh, the U.S. Revenue, spoiler for the future, is what will become the United States Coast Guard. So uh, the U.S. Revenue Cutter, Robert McClellan, uh, it's going to be surrendered to Louisiana state troops despite Washington's orders to, uh, to, to defend it. Like, don't, don't, don't get rid of that flag. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't get rid of the boat. Defend this boat to the last man. But they're going to go ahead and say, nah, nah, Louisiana can just it? have it. If we don't want to, we don't want to die for this, that, so what, Louisiana can just have it. What's the point of having a commanding officer if no one's going to listen to him? I, I get Well, and that was an order that came directly from Buchanan, like, you know, from Washington, yeah, D.C. So, so. Yeah, who, who one could argue is the highest of the commanding officers. That we but, would, yes, you would argue that. <laughs> but they, they did not do what he says. <laughs> On January... <laughs> On January 30th, another U.S. revenue cutter would be uh, would be seized, and that's the Lewis Cass, which was surrendered to Alabama officers. So, okay, so now it's uh, they're they're attacking. Well, not attacking, I guess. Just I guess uh, they're collecting, uh, acquiring uh, land at, at sea and on. And yeah, and, and on these land. are these are naval vessels. These are these are military naval vessels. So you would assume. You probably don't want a state that has seceded to have them because that's a weapon they can well, use against you. Because they're not part of our navy anymore. They they're yeah. gone, and they don't. So, they, we don't want to stock them with resources. It would be insane to arm your enemy, like give them a bunch of weapons and everything, and then have to deal with them later. Like, can you imagine? Like you know letting them take over a U.S. arsenal that has guns and munitions in it. And then when you see a couple of states do that, but you still leave all the guns and munition in the South at those arsenals, like, why why weren't they pulled is, out of those damn arsenals been, before we got to this point? But, hey, you know, whatever. Uh, and the, the month's going to end, Johnny, on such another positive note with Louisiana seizing the uh, the U.S. branch mint. So, the the mint that's down in New Orleans that's doing all of our coin mintage, yeah, they're gonna go ahead and seize that. So now so I guess they can counterfeit then... our money. I don't know. I mean, well, they're, they're taking it, and I they mean, also I take feel like they're just they're just getting greedy. They're taking everything now. Just they're they taking everything that, that we have. Yes. Used to belong to the to the United States, and they're they're getting souvenirs from their time with the United States. <laughs> That's what it they sounds like. They just happen like. to be federal mints and battleships and property. And arboreties and forts. And, forts and, and, yeah, just yeah. That, that type of thing. Uh, uh, they're, also they're, gonna, into. they're also going to take the U.S. Customs House in New Orleans as well. So <laughs> there's that. And another U.S. revenue boat is, uh, is, is lost, which is the Schooner Washington. And uh, and with that note, like we're it, we're at war, right? Like at any minute, have to there be. Has, we have to declare war because if Buchanan point, doesn't 
if he doesn't declare oh. war, I'm I'm I can't imagine. I don't know what he's the, doing. The the consequences. I, mean, I, I, don't, I, I, don't, just, I guess he's on his way out. This is his spring term. This is insane. He's just yeah, waiting whatever. for somebody else to do it, and he's gonna sit around for what two more months or whatever, another month yeah. and a half. We got till March with him, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens before Lincoln gets into office. But I'm not even sure Lincoln's gonna have an office to take over <laughs> once it's time. It's gonna for be it. much smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Workload decreased. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he must be thrilled. That's it for this week in Civil War in hindsight. Please hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you can, and, uh, and, and join our other series, Historic Hindsight, where we look at uh, everything from Ford Pintos to Waco to other fun government things that uh, that they do to us to, you know, to, to, to let us know that they love us. <laughs>